What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Uh, hopefully, you all you know had a good day yesterday. Um, I had a really good day yesterday. You know, I've been dropping them pics in the comments lately. Um, so they was fire yesterday, man. You know, outside of the fact that you know, um, Tyus Jones, you know, that blowout he missed on the hook six and a half. Um, uh, some reason, um, Stephen Adams didn't get in and play. <clears throat> Seemed like he didn't play the second half. Um, and Melton threes you had to catch him live. I think he hit four. Um, Desmond Bain got there for the threes. And I host the double doubles, bro. Um, Damian Jones went over for me. I took that ten and a half. I mean, good day, man. I probably hit like five double doubles yesterday, man. It was off the chain. I ain't even gonna lie. All right, so uh, with a day like today, man, all I can say is, um, be safe out there. All right. <laughs> um, it, 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 we got eleven games, man. Next tomorrow, if you want to look ahead, stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. Um. You know, if you if you, if you want if you can save yourself some spare time or get get a kid some extra time today, get a wife, the girl, or whatever some extra time today. Be my guest, man. Don't force anything. I'm not forcing anything. I don't have a lot for this shit for this, for today. Uh, so I don't I don't I don't. You know, it is what it is. I haven't even put together any bankroll builders or anything, whatever the case may be with that. All right, so uh, you know, uh, take care of your bankroll, man. Straight bets is the you know the best bet. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, then, you know, if you got the, uh, a luxury of having FanDuel Sportsbook, like I do with these bankroll builders, man, you know, you know, you can turn your leans into green, um, 231 and a half over under in this one, uh, Milwaukee Bucks on the road, Philadelphia favored by one and a half. This is the third matchup between the two. Uh, the first matchup between the two and B didn't play, uh, Andre Drummond had a, um, a monster double double. He had 20 rebounds. Fast forward to the second game that they played. Uh, I think Embiid had 40. Giannis had like 30, a little bit over 30. Uh, both games, Giannis went over 11 rebounds. I think he had 15 rebounds one of those games. This is a good rebounding spot for Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, for uh, uh, for uh, 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 Giannis. I mean, who the fuck, whatever the fuck. Joel Embiid, um, he'll be faced up with somebody like uh, Brooke Lopez. Brooke Lopez does left to, like to step out there and shoot the three. And he's a little bit, you know, he's allergic to rebounding, all right? So those are a few things that I'm looking at right now. All right, matchup-wise, uh, I mean, for the points, I mean, these guys, I mean, they're self-explanatory. These are uh, uh, two of the three top three scorers in the league. They fighting for that, t scoring for that uh, scoring title. So you know, I, the points, man, you can get to either one of them, man. You know, it is what it is. I do like the matchup for uh, uh I do like the matchup for Drew Holiday. I just think he'll be matched up with somebody like Chris James Harden and uh, or, or Tyrese Maxey. So you know that's a good matchup for him. Uh, 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 that's a good matchup for him. All right. I don't have much for this one. Didn't put out any bankroll builders for this one. These are uh, two of the top teams in the East playing. You know they're doing a lot of tanking over there in the East. Uh, assuming these two teams play hard, um, I don't know, man. If these two teams play hard. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? A few trends, though. Let's get to a few trends while we're at it. While I'm over here. Um, let me see. Who is this? Uh, Milwaukee. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah. Uh, lately, um, these two trends, I mean, these two teams, like uh, the under. Surprisingly, the under is 4-0 and in the bus last four games fought an ATS loss. You know, so once they lose, you know, once they, if they don't cover, you know what I'm saying, they, they come back and at least go under. The under is 4-0 uh, versus a team with a, a, a winning percentage above 600. So that's something, all right? Um, the under is 4-1 in the, in, in, in the Bucks, uh last five road games versus a team with a, a home winning record. Philly, on the other hand, the under is 5-0 in, in their last five games as a home favorite. Um, and... Uh, and uh, the unders five one in their last six games in, in, in their last six uh, home games, so a uh, few things that's been trending uh, under lately for these two teams. But uh, between these two teams and uh, in Philadelphia, the over uh, five and one in their last six meetings against each other. All right, so we will see, man. We will see, man. I don't, I, I can't pinpoint. I know Milwaukee will give up the over, or whatever the case may be. Uh, but you know, we will see. We will see. We will see. Um, man, I don't know, man. I don't know. We do know the, uh, they've been uh, giving up three ball lately, uh, Milwaukee. So, uh, 
Even if you do want to bet some threes or something like that for a bankroll builder, I don't mind getting to uh, Tyrese mm-hmm. Maxey too, Harden too, and uh, James Harden uh, and Chris Middleton too. That'll get you some plus money right there. I might sprinkle a little something on that. Uh, I don't know though. I might sprinkle a little something. <clears throat> I don't have any official plays in this one here. Uh, don't mind. Uh, uh, you know, I might end up going to uh, taking the NBA over points though. I ain't even gonna lie. Um. Chicago Bulls at Washington Wizards here, uh, 225 and a half over under in this one. Um, Zach Levine and um, Caruso just got end up questionable. questionable. Uh, this line did open up at around four and now just moved to three. Um, the Bulls, they've been trending under in the last four or five games. And, uh, you know, especially at home, Washington Wizards have been going over. Uh, they are the over 7 and 0 in their last seven home games, I want to say. Was it the road or was it the home? Uh, we will, uh, I guess. Uh, so um, we are gonna see. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, uh, yeah, the under you know, six six and zero oh, in the Bulls' last six game as a home favorite, man. And, and, and yeah, and then Washington, yeah, as a home underdog, the uh, the over seven zero oh, for them. Um, the over six and one for the uh, in, in the Wizards' last seven games following the ATS. When, um, um, I will tell you, um, the Bulls has beat them uh, eight out of the last ten games. Uh, we could be seeing some tired legs here, okay? We could see some tired legs here for the simple fact that uh, the Bulls are in a, both of these teams are in a four and six nights right here, all right? Both of them. They're playing four games and six nights. Uh, Bulls are on the back to back. Washington Wizards are not a little bit more rested here. All right, so uh, I can't pinpoint. I can't pinpoint what I want to go over or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? I now that uh, Levine and, uh, and 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 Caruso came up questionable, um, I got to got to wait and see. All right, me, I'm the type of guy that you know. I got to wait and see, man. I got to stalk the injury report all day. And uh, you know I, I'm a late bloomer. I'm a late, late better. Uh, I gather I gather information all day. We do this every day. You know what I'm saying? I try to learn the injury report, and that's major key. People say how do you learn the injury report? You stay up on it every day. You know what I'm saying? That's the most thing I check all day. Injury report to see who benefits. You know what I'm saying? From this, that, and the other. Everybody plays differently. Everybody bets differently. All right. Um. So yeah. Uh. 222 and a half over under in this one. I'm going to have to wait for the if, if 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 everybody plays. I know the Bulls been ass. I know it's a back to back. Ah, how the fuck I mean, I got to lean towards the Bulls. I don't fucking know, man. Damn. <laughs> or don't make a play in it. Shit, we don't have props out for it. I I, I mean, I think that uh, I think, you know, Vucevic is the double double candidate here. Uh, I, uh, but man, I, I just you know, I don't know, man. We don't have any props out, or do we? Oh, we do. Okay, Salaransky. I I want to see what this uh what this uh assist prop is gonna be like. Four and a half, huh? Hmm, interesting. I got some interest there. I have some interest there in that four and a half. Wouldn't mind getting to a four and same game parlays. Looking at the number right now. Rebounds. What we got in the rebound category here? Okay. So they put up Daniel Gafford and Chris Porzingis. I don't know what they on today. See, they finna try to distract us today. They finna try to throw everybody on the books today. Because we only got five books. But, uh, uh, we only got five games. When they do that shit, when they throw all them people on the books like that, so look, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people out for for Washington Wizards, bro. When they throw all them people out, stay in your lane. Stay stay in your lane when you're doing them same game parlays and take the people for what they do. You know what I'm saying? Of course you can get lucky, of course. But they don't even have the threes out. So they must just be bringing these out. They don't even have the threes out. I ain't never seen no shit like that. Anyway, check back with me later on, man. Christoph Prusingas has been a useless monster in, in, in the meantime. Uh, he's been, you know, the usage is there. He's their best offensive weapon. The usage is there for this guy. I mean, he's been, you know, 
His shot attempts in his last few games has been you know in the twenties, man. Especially these last two games, twenty one shots, twenty two shots, man. So you know it is. You know they they coming off two uh, underdog wins against Golden State Warriors and Detroit Pistons. Um, the Bulls, man. If these motherfuckers go out, because I'm gonna end up leaning towards the Bulls, man. I gotta see who's in and out, man. If everybody's healthy, man, I'm gonna lean towards the Bulls, man. So it is what it is. <sighs> I feel, I don't know, man. Uh, Los Angeles Lakers at Dallas Mavericks here, uh, 219 and a half over under. Big 12 point spread here, Dallas Mavericks' favorite, all right? Uh, uh, Dallas Mavericks have been trending under, man. The last four, five, six, seven games have been trending under. They have been playing some really, 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 really good defense, okay? Um, <clears throat> um, the boy, uh, LeBron James is doubtful. I don't expect him to play. So he shouldn't be playing tonight. So uh, and you know what? It's the Lakers, man. Come on, man. You can only I can only look towards Dallas. If the Lakers come out here and stand Dallas, man, it is what it is, man. You know, uh, I could talk about some trends. Uh, the only trend right now with 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 LeBron out is you know the over is four and one in the uh, last uh, five Lakers game overall, and of course LeBron has been doing some monster scoring, man. So he's not playing, and then the under has been trending hella. You know, for the uh, 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 for Dallas, man, they play at one of the slowest pace, and they, you know, they at home. I mean, this game screens unders, man. Um, you know, <clears throat> I've been doing really, really good with these line totals parlays. I think all of them that I gave out, uh, that I had strong leans in hit. If you've been following my content, you know what I'm saying. Shout out to you guys, man. So. The under is in play. I I can I can be mad at you if you get to any one of these, man. Uh, you got your match totals, which mean money line and total. Then you got your line total, which means uh, you know, spread in total. All right. So go back here and you know get into it. I like that twenty one uh, two twenty one under Dallas and under the plus one hundred. Don't mind that. Da I don't mind you know none of these motherfuckers. I ain't even gonna lie. Two twenty three minus one twenty. Yeah, I don't mind that in the under. Dallas and the under, 217 and a half, Dallas and the under, yeah. Where are you going to find some big value at? I mean, at 215 and a half, it can happen. Look, these two teams, this year, they haven't even, they had totals 113 and 111. So they went under that total today. They went under all these totals in both games here. And uh, LeBron played both of those games, man. So, and if you want to go to the line, be my guest. Uh, you know, the 13 and a half, if you feel like you want to get there, be my guest. This nine and a half looks, you know, plus 260, you know what I'm saying? And under 216, if you want to go with uh, 225 and a half and, 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 and under uh, 222 and a half, man, be my guest, all right? Be my guest, you know? Be my guest, seven and a half, 214 and a half. Be my guest, man. It is what it is, man. I haven't decided. I might go with one of those bigger ones, like 220 something on, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the money line. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so where do we get to right here? Uh, the three ball. Um, the three ball. Uh, Luka threes are in play for sure. Reggie Bullock, he's somebody who in his last four games, he has six threes or better in both games. So, you know, uh, that's what they do, man. It could fucking be going down. It could be raining threes today. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, it's a lot to look at. I haven't made any bankroll builders or anything like that. I just know. Uh, probably going to be that line totals. Probably going to be some player performance doubles uh, for me. You know what I'm saying? And the three ball, you know. Uh, honorable mentions, like I said, guys like D uh, Dwight Howard should get the start today. I'll, I will have some interest, man. You know, I ain't going to lie. I'll have some interest in this rebound prop or something like that. Maybe a double-double for Dwight Howard. That'd be something. Um, Malik Munch should see extra added usage today. Carmelo Anthony should see extra added usage today. Taylor Horton Tucker as well. All right. Um, so it's going to be like a starting lineup thing because I'm, I'm going to wait to see what the starting lineup is going to be. I got, you know, I'm really going to probably going to have some interest in that uh, Dwight Howard rebound prop. Uh, his last two games, he's had uh, eight and 10. He's questionable. I'd imagine he's going to go. Uh, he did put up 24 points against Philadelphia. All right. So it's a lot to look at here. I right. um, threes, threes, threes. I like the three balls here. Um, we know Lucas a double, double, triple, double threat each and every game here. It is the Dallas Mavericks for me or nothing. Let's take a quick peek look at some player performance doubles here. Uh, double, double in a win is definitely out of not out of realm of possibilities for him. We all know that. For uh, Luca, 
Um, Reggie Bullock, three threes in a win. You can get that at plus 132. Mm. Let me go back. Was Reggie Bullock up there? Hmm. Two and a half plus money. What is this five threes? 760. Luka Doncic's five threes is 280. Four threes for Luka Doncic. Uh, plus 120. Four threes for Bridget Bullock, 270. Dwayne Finney Smith, three ballers in play, too, man. I mean, it is what it is. Y'all go. I, I don't have to waste all our time talking about this shit. Y'all know the drill. Brooklyn and Detroit Pistons at Brooklyn Nets, 234 over under in this one. 14 point spread uh, in favor of Brooklyn Nets here. Um, man. <sighs> Woo! Um, Detroit, I don't have to say anything. They've just been covering, all right? We go through this shit every single day. They've just been covering like a motherfucker, man. They've been covering, all right? Brooklyn Nets, you know, they play a little bit better on the road, but they're at home right now. Um, Detroit Pistons, uh, don't like the pace that they play in. It could be a tad bit of a pace up matchup for Detroit, all right? Now, uh, um, we know the Pistons have been covering. You know, that's where they've been tra trending, man. I mean, the Pistons, they 15-1 against the spread in their last 16 games as an underdog. Why? <laughs> because they've been having big-ass spreads like this too, man. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm hiccuping and shit. But, yeah, they've been having big-ass spreads, man. So I can't back that spread. I don't, but I don't want to. I don't even want to take the spread in favor of uh, Detroit because you know they can get their ass blew out right here. Probably it's probably one of those spots where they can get their ass blew out. I ain't gonna lie. Um, the uh, uh, um, they uh, um, um, they uh, Brooklyn coming off of L from motherfucking Charlotte. They're gonna be looking to get back at home. I mean, mm, mm, mm. Uh, Brooklyn has beaten this team eight out of the last ten games, man. And they beat them five straight. Um, They haven't, in those five games, they went over this total once. So that's interesting. That's going to be interesting as hell, all right? That's going to be interesting. They went over this total once, man, okay? They went over this total once in the last five games. <sighs> Detroit is not. This is a patient matchup for Detroit, but man, I'm gonna see. Mm, I didn't even peep that, man. What y'all got? What y'all? Let me know something, man. Damn, can this go under? I don't fucking know, man. Can they stop Brooklyn from scoring? I don't fucking know. They might end up blowing Detroit ass out. We gonna see though. We're going to see. I mean, I just don't see where the firepower from the come from. I'm trying to think. All right, right off the back, uh, where the double-doubles at, man? Got interest in double-double. All right, you're going to get a double-double for drumming for plus money here. Like I said, it's a it's a pace-down matchup. I don't like the pace of this game, but, you know, drumming is drumming, man. He might end up, you know, he might, you know, he, he might end up, you know, getting a double-double. Now, keep in mind, um, what's the name was active last game, but he did not play. Marcus Aldridge, okay, so that's something. So, uh, yeah. Um, Isaiah Stewart has been flirting with a double-double here and there. He just got a double-double last game. I have some interest in this rebound prop. Not 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 a lot of interest, man. I got some I got some mild interest. Can he do it? Yeah. Do I want to force anything today? Uh am I scared of drumming? I might be, but <laughs> but uh yeah, I don't want to force anything, bro. So listen here, I got I got the itty bitty lean. I mean, it is what it is. But you know, I can live with the fact that if I fade his rebound, because y'all know I love going to his rebound prop. I can live with the fact of fading his rebounds. And if he goes over, if he has 15 rebounds and I fade him, I don't care. And that's the you know, that's the part, you know, back then, you know, a while back I'd be like, damn, man, I should have bet that. I'm gonna bet in that same bet. No. You gotta have discipline, man. If he if he crushed that rebound prop and you didn't bet on it and you was on it, so fucking be it. That's a that's a sign of, you know, um uh that's a sign of uh I mean, you know, growth, you know, when it comes to betting, man. You know, chasing the shit, you don't wanna do you don't wanna do that. So uh I you know, I'm not saying I can't talk you off of it. I'm just saying. In this instance and any other instance, all right? Um, you just gotta live with things, all right? But he has double <laughs> double digit rebounds 
<laughs> in four of his last five, in the time that he missed, he had eight. All right, so you know, uh, one of those games was uh, was a double double like last game. He, and keep in mind, he did hit two threes that last game. He was feeling it, uh, and so he ended up having ten points on the head. But let me stop talking. Let me start talking about him. All right, so yeah, uh, overall, um, and then um, tough defensive matchup for Bagley. And then, you know, um, I guess somebody like Kevin Durant going to have to stick him on the other side. Uh, Bagley has been playing some good ball, man. He's a double-double candidate, too. Um, you see, I, uh, his point prop sitting at 16 and a half. He has to keep his fucking hands to himself. He's going to have to guard Durant, probably. Um, he's crushed this line in the last two games, 27 and 25. Um, he shot the ball efficiently, 11 for 14, 10 for 16. So, yeah, he's played twenty five. He's played thirty five minutes in back to back games. Uh, uses uh, minutes equal opportunity. Uh, ah, might have to look towards getting to that. Um, Tay Cunningham is in a good spot as well. He's been playing some good ball as well. Um, his PRAs or PRAs or something should be in play here. I didn't look at it. Um, last game he didn't have rebound uh, any any rebounds, but prior to that. You know, he had 22, 7, and 9, uh, 17, 6, and 8, uh, 23, uh, 25, 3, and 7. I do like the matchup for him, you know, who, no matter who's guarding him. So we will see, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. I mean, you know, guys like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, they're self explanatory. Um, I don't know, though, man. I just, you know, I'm worried about, I'm worried about, I'm worried about shit, man. Blowouts and shit like that. The three balls should be in play. Uh, I think I'm just going to lay off of Cade Cunningham trying to chase his threes. Uh, you know, I might have to lay off him trying to chase his three. If I went got to two threes for some people, I would probably go for a Sadiq Bay, Kyrie Irving, and Seth Curry. Um, you can get that them three right there at a plus 106. Like I said, I don't like the pace of this game. Is Brooklyn Nets or nothing for me? I haven't looked at the... Uh, uh, player performance doubles, but right off the back, I mean, I know I'm gonna have to try to take a stab at uh, the uh, Drummond uh, player performance double, double double in the win. Uh, I'll have to see what it is. Drummond has been putting up points lately too, man. I've seen a couple twenties and shit. You know what I'm saying? So you might can ladder some of his shit. But anyway, uh, player performance doubles. What we got here? Twelve points in the win plus one twenty two. Double double the win plus one forty. Yes, I like that. Um, three threes in the win. I probably, I, I probably won't try to overdo it. I, I got, I got to take my own advice, man. You know, I probably won't overdo it today, man. We got eleven games tomorrow. You know, what I'm saying, you know, some some games can, you know, it could be one of those days. Where, I don't know, man. I ain't gonna talk nothing on bad on nobody, but I don't. I, some telling me, man, they just this, this Brooklyn Nets team might blow these guys. I don't know. I don't just I don't see who's gonna guard Kevin Durant, man. We'll see though. Utah Jazz at uh, at the Clippers, man. Another game we gotta wait and see about uh, uh, um, Rudy Gobert. Um, both times these two teams play, uh, Utah Jazz, you know they beat them twice, man. This year, this is the third matchup between the two. Um, we do know that you know. They are trying to, they are trying to, uh, the Clippers are trying to uh, limit minutes and get ready for the playoffs for some of their guys. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is right there. They're probably going to play a deep rotation. Um, Jazz have lost four straight games. They just took two, four straight L's. Uh, they lost to Brooklyn, Boston, Charlotte, and Dallas. So, you know, they're going to, they, they really need to win bad. Uh, you know, the under 7 0 in Utah Jazz last seven games has rolled favorites. We got 218 and a half over under in this one. Um, um, the under is 8 1 in the last nine road games for uh, Utah. That's the only things that stick out to me. Um, it feels like we ain't seen Clippers on here in, in forever. Um, so uh, the over is 4 0 in, in the last four game, home games versus a team with a winning record. Uh, that it's, it, it's all right. Uh, but you know, between these two teams, the over is three zero and one the last four meetings. Jazz are one and four against the spread in the last five meetings. Man, like I said, uh, Utah beat these guys uh, the last two games this year, or the only two games this year, one twenty one to ninety two, uh, one twenty four to uh, uh, one hundred three. 
Um, Bogdan Bogdanovich is questionable. I don't think he plays since the 11th, the 10th, 11th, or 12th of this year. So keep an eye on that injury news. They really, really need him badly. Um, if Rudy Gobert doesn't go, um, I'm going to have some interest in the rebound prop for Willie Hernan Gomez. He just had nine rebounds last game. And if 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 Rudy Gobert does go, um, I'm probably going to lean towards Utah Jazz. Um, and uh, if Rudy Gobert doesn't go, <laughs> I'm going to have interest in the rebound prop for Ivica Zubac. Of course, we know that Azubuki is not yeah there. We know uh, Hassan Whiteside is out. All right. Last time these two teams played, which is uh, only twice, uh, Donovan Mitchell only played one of them games, but he did have six assists. So, you know, I don't mind, you know, getting to the over uh, in, in this four and a half or uh, five and a half was the six assist prop sitting at plus 136. He did have six assists last time these two teams played. Um, so, yeah, uh, the three ball is in play for guys like Donovan Mitchell and, you know, the game. Uh, for some reason, Donovan Mitchell three threes and Mike Conley three threes and Royce O'Neal three threes are locked. I don't fucking know why. Uh, so I guess it is what it is with that situation. All right. Um, they playing with the Lions right now. I don't know what the fuck they doing. But uh, what is uh, the rebound props there? Um, if it's Zubac seven and a half, I guess seven and a half. Yeah. So if you want to get to a six rebound for uh, if it's Zubac. See, I know my numbers already. I could just look at the numbers. This is a number of things for me. Uh, you know, so, and then you want to get to a, a, <clears throat> a four assist for something like a Donovan Mitchell. And uh, 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 let's just say, for example, a four assist uh, for uh, 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 Ivica Zubak. I mean, uh, Mike Conley, that four, four, and six, that right there gets you plus money. All right. Uh, any minus 300, minus 400, you know, that's my motto. Uh, that'll get you plus money. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're hustling. Uh, two threes, you know what I'm saying? Even if you want to get to four threes, if you don't want to get to four threes for Conley, uh, you can go down to the two threes or something like that. Let's see what they do. Mike Conley. Mike Conley can hit the three ball, and they, you know, they got his two threes at 154, man. That's something. You know, so I don't mind getting to two threes for him. Man. He can't hit the three ball. That's a plus 179. Man, he can't hit the three ball. Don't mind getting there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, those I gave you guys a few scenarios on how I want to approach this one. Uh, so it's just a wait and see for me. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta wait for Rudy Gobert to make a definite uh, a push in this game here. All right. Yeah. So that just about does it, man. Be safe out there. Um, if I got some plays, man, I will throw it in the uh, in the, uh, in, the, in the in the comment section, man. So peace, man. Peace.